As we round off now, confusion surrounding Twitter Incorporated deepened over the weekend after a number of high-profile accounts saw their price blue check marks reinstated, even though some of their owners have been dead for years. Celebrities and public figures took to the platform to deny having paid for the $8 a month that yields the colored stick. Despite labels stated the account is verified because they are subscribed to Twitter Blue and verified their phone numbers. Unpaid legacy blue ticks, which once conferred authenticity on accounts verified by the company, were removed last week as part of billionaire owner Elon Musk's push for uh, to boost revenue. I will leave you with uh, reactions from co-founder of Black, George Omosun. Business Insight returns again tomorrow. I am Justin Akadoni. Many thanks for watching. Uh, thank you so much. So personally, I don't foresee any issues since Twitter has not enforced the new badge on the masses. Twitter users can continue to use the platform with or without the new badge. The organization, Twitter, uh, needs this new revenue stream to survive. The operational costs at their current scale will not be manageable for much longer if they don't take drastic actions. Um, and I believe that's what they're trying to do here, honestly speaking. Um, with a number of the top advertisers, you know, going off the platform and coupled with, you know, the number of bot accounts affecting the perceived value of the company, the move to paid verified badges will ensure that the company can continue to survive. I think the concerns that a lot of people have had around misrepresentation is being addressed using the affiliate badge, in my opinion, although some people don't like it. Um, we had a case recently where I believe it was the BBC that was tagged or affiliated as you know the government-funded media, and they didn't take too kindly to that for obvious reasons. Um, so I think the challenge here, the key challenge here, would be ensuring you know mass adoption of the new badge, um, you know, which means that Twitter has to ensure that people continue to find the $8 fee valuable to them. And this would mean constant and consistent innovation from the perspective of the technologies. When a product is free, people don't complain much. But once they have to pay for it, it becomes a different story altogether. Although Elon is not a stranger to running these sorts of businesses, um, I believe a number of the businesses that he runs actually utilize this model. Um, so I believe if anyone can pull this off, it's probably him. Um, and yeah, I, I would like to see how to pulls this off. And I wish them the best of luck.